As hobbyists and uh, do-it-yourselfers, our choice of scan tools and oscilloscopes and automotive and electronic tools uh, will reflect the fact that uh, we're hobbyists and do-it-yourselfers. The gap between our budget options and those more pricey, more so-called professional options is narrowing all the time. Case in point is this new file sharing feature recently implemented in HScope. So that's what I'm going to do right now is share a waveform file with you and I chose this one. This was taken during the stethoscope demo video. It shows us listening in to the injector pintle as it was commanded. So here, let's have a look here. Okay, so let's bring our probe to the base of the injector. And look at that, isn't that sweet? You can see when it opens, you can see when it closes. I host that file on my Google Drive and the download link is in the description box. You get 8SCO from the Google Play Store. You don't even need to buy a license. You don't even need to own an oscilloscope. The free version of 8SCO will allow you to view this file. On installation, 8SCO creates an automotive folder in your download. Simply paste the file commandedpintle.zip that I shared with you in that automotive folder. Start 8SCO in demo mode. The top right hand bar cycles you through the various H-scope modes. You tap it once. You'll know that you're in the auto module because of that record button. If you look on the icon on the uh, lower right, it's a small uh, clock with hands and a counterclockwise arrow which shows you you're going back in time. Um, intuitive, right? So hit that. And it takes you to the location where all of the uh, files would have been stored and where you would have placed that commanded pintle zip file in that automotive folder. Note the preview bars that assist you in locating the desired waveform. Very cool. We select it. So when you first look at it, you'll see that Channel 2 just looks like a solid line, right? There's a lot of detail embedded in that line. Um, what happened was that channel 1 was set at 100 volts so it could handle the large induction spike of the uh, injector as uh, the ground control was commanded. And channel 2, which was its stethoscope, was at uh, a very small voltage, uh, like a 100 millivolt scale. So you need to zoom in on channel 2 lots. until you get to this. And there we can clearly see the moment that the pintle was lifted and the moment that the pintle closed. And that small gap in between is the duration of the injector strike. Only seen here on the gadgets playlist and I think it's a masterpiece. I know, but uh, what are we if we can't have a little bit of fun on here, right? So now HScope users have the ability to share waveforms, uh, to share known goods. And as a content creator, when I have something new and interesting, I have a tool to share it on a level never before possible. As always, guys, thanks for watching and take care.